Dr. Mark Smolinski, Director of Global Health Threats for the School Global Threats Fund. Dr. Sri Wan Tikkaradon, Executive Board Member of Thai Health Promotion Foundation and former Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Public Health. Mr. Patipat Su Samhau, co-founder of Open Dream Company, specialist in public health, veterinary in, in, in innovators in technology, in technology. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me a great pleasure on behalf of the President of Chiang Mai University to be here this morning on this auspicious occasion, the opening ceremony of the Digital Disease Detection uh, part Participatory One Health in Chiang Mai Symposium. I should like to express my sincere appreciation towards the challenging and outstanding vision of the Mark Skolinski that reflects the aim of Global Health Friends Fund, which has collaborated with Chiang University in order to organize this event, an event that will enhance innovations of the world's concentration on one health and civilians. I would like to thank you for considerately inviting the specialists on health and IT from Chiang Mai University. I would like to assure the school Global Friends Fund that this conference will surely generate desirable outputs. I foresee the value in restraining the dispersed disease, particularly the capability to detect the factors of the initiative dispersion in both the animal population and in the environment. This can prevent a pandemic that might cause great loss, sickness and death, such as the Spanish flu in 1918. That infected human from the recombinant virus from pigs and ducks. This caused 50 to 100 million deaths, approximately 3 to 5 percent of the world's population certain time. Another event is the Nipah virus, originated from bats <coughs> and dispersed to pigs and humans in Malaysia, causing the deaths of 230 people and nearly 1 million pigs were eliminated. Another in central crucial dispersal is the bird flu, H5N1, in 2004, that has killed 500 people over the world, and 40 million chickens in Thailand have been destroyed. 70% of new human infections originate from animals. Statistical data that suggests that we cannot prevent this dispersal. This is due to the bacteria that at the beginning is dispersed in animals, can mutate and finally infect humans, such as malaria, dengue, and HIV. I should like to underline <clears throat> that what we have initiated today is not only supporting and promoting the local public health of Chiang Mai, but also is significant and valuable for the world. The idea of One Health, Chiang Mai University has taken a decisive role in the national network, Thailand One Health University Network. At the ASEAN level, Southeast Asian One Health University Network. On a practical level, collaborating with local organizations in Chiang Mai, engaging in the activities of One Health Team in Chiang Mai. One Health Team comprises of three main organizations in Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai Provincial Public Health Office, Chiang Mai Provincial Livestock Office, and Department of Local Administration. These collaborative organizations have started to monitor and control the bird flu and other zoonosis and foodborne diseases. 
Thai culture has supported one health competencies such as with its collaboration skills. Thai society has cultivated this in traditional daily life. The characteristics of Thai people, courteous consideration and humbleness and respect help Thai people to easily comprehend the core instability, anxiety and soullessness of a non-integrated health approach, encouraging Thai people to fully connect and transform these, disease, these issues. If the environment is ruined and deteriorated, health and human life <clears throat> will be inevitably affected. I believe and I'm certain that Chiang Mai is really for, for the health and is proud of this collaboration for the greater coming benefits, not only for Chiang Mai community, but also to be the model of one health civilians via the world's digital technology with the great support and intentions of the school Global French Fund. I should like to take this opportunity to wish all the participants <coughs> a beneficial sharing of wisdom in this international symposium today. And that today meets all of your expected achievements with joy and prosperous outcomes. And I also hope that you will spare some time out of this exhaustive meeting to enjoy attractions in Chiang Mai, in which we have abundant. So you have a pleasant stay in Chiang Mai. And before I depart, I should like, on behalf of the President of Chiang Mai University, to give a little token of appreciation to Dr. Mark Smolinski. So please, can I invite Dr. Mark Smolinski?